Europe's top diplomats made history this week with surprise visit Kiev for a meeting aimed at projecting united front to support Ukraine's war with Russia and its bid join the European Union. This is the first time we have met in a candidate country, said Josep Borrell, the bloc's top foreign policy official. And unfortunately, this was the first time that European Union foreign ministers met in a country at war. The EU remains united in its support for Ukraine, Borrell continued. I don't see any member state backing down on engagement. Shortly after summit, which included 23 of the EU's 27 foreign ministers, Ukraine received another good news as reports emerged that Kiev could begin formal accession negotiations by end of this year. But away from the spotlight, there are a number of obstacles to Ukraine joining the powerful bloc. The first challenge is to meet EU standards of democracy and good governance. As August, Ukraine had met only two of seven legal benchmarks, and it remains unclear how Kiev will fare on the five, which remains in middle a brutal, all-out war with Russia. If Ukraine manages to overcome this hurdle, it will face the difficult task of persuading every member of the consensus-driven bloc to accept Kiev's membership. Slovakia will have little appetite for making concessions Ukraine, given results of recent elections in which the left-wing party opposed to arming of Kiev came power. Slovakia's potential new prime minister, Robert Fico, said last month that it was misleading to deal with the issue of Ukraine joining the EU amid a bitter military conflict. But there is one factor working in Ukraine's favor Fico had a track record of pragmatism in his previous stints as prime minister, leaving open the possibility that he could change his stance towards Kiev for the right price. Reports also indicate that Hungary, led by firebrand Prime Minister Viktor Orban, will not support Ukraine's offer for free. In fact, EU officials are considering unlocking 13 billion in aid bloc has withheld from Budapest over concerns that Orban is diminishing the independence of country's courts. In return, EU officials hope that Hungary will approve aid to Ukraine and support efforts to open accession negotiations. The final hurdle will be convincing the EU's smaller states to accept a fundamental change in the bloc's economic balance. Ukraine will receive around 200 billion from the bloc over seven years. According an EU report leaked the Financial Times, forcing some member states switch from net beneficiaries of EU largesse net payers. Kiev will also become the largest beneficiary of agricultural subsidies, and payments to all other states will decrease by about 20%. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky remains determined to help his country achieve EU membership. Despite long obstacles, our main integration goal is to take the decision to start membership negotiations this year. Zelensky said, Today, I heard once again in